Exploring the Shadows, Understanding the Dark of Night. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, the dark of night. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and it's a beautiful example of how the English language can paint pictures with words. Whether you're learning English as a second language or you're just interested in the nuances of phrases, this video will shed some light on this intriguing expression. The dark of night refers to the deepest, darkest part of the night, a time when the world is shrouded in almost complete darkness. This phrase isn't just about the absence of light. It's imbued with a sense of mystery, sometimes fear, and often the unknown. It's used in literature and everyday speech to evoke a powerful image of night's most intense moments, where shadows deepen and visibility is at its lowest. When we talk about the dark of night, we're not just speaking about the physical absence of light. Darkness often carries with it connotations of mystery, fear, and the unseen. It's a time when the world feels different, more secretive, and perhaps even more alive in its quiet way. This phrase can also symbolize a period of difficulty or the unknown in someone's life, making it a versatile tool in both literary and colloquial language. In literature, the dark of night is a powerful setting that can set the tone for suspense, horror, romance, or introspection. Writers use it to create a backdrop that can intensify emotions, highlight the solitude or challenges faced by characters, or to provide a contrast to the light of day and the clarity it brings. In everyday speech, the phrase might be used more literally but can still carry an air of poetic flair adding depth to our descriptions of the night. To fully grasp the usage of the dark of night, let's look at a few examples. She whispered her secrets into the dark of night, hoping for an answer from the shadows. During the dark of night, the city takes on a completely different character, mysterious and unexplored. He felt most alive in the dark of night, when thoughts seemed clearer, and the world quieter. I hope this exploration of the dark of night has illuminated not just its literal meaning but also the rich tapestry of imagery and emotion it can convey. English is a language that delights in its ability to evoke images and feelings through phrases like this one. Whether you're writing a story, speaking with friends, or just pondering the mysteries of the night, Remember the depth and beauty hidden in these simple words. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next linguistic adventure together.